I'm getting annoyed with the folks who made my everyday headphones. Even though they have a great warranty, it seems about every six months I have to send them in. This really has me scratching my head because I send $10 along with the headphones and I get a new pair of headphones. The $10 is for shipping. From their end, they're sending me free headphones. I use two hands to take them off and I hang them by the band so that they won't crash to the floor. The problem is that there is a heavy stress point where the band connects to the mechanism that holds the ear cup. It breaks at this point every time. I must have gone through at least eight pairs of these headphones. I'm going to look elsewhere for a new style of everyday headphones. Hi, I'm Scott Bain. They called me the old farmer. I think I've used about a thousand different pairs of headphones in my life and maybe have bought close to 100. For the longest time, I've been buying and using Koss headphones because of their warranty. Their better line of phones have a simple send back the broken headphones with $10 and in a couple of months, you'll get a new replacement set. I have three different pairs of headphones. This is what I've been wearing for my daily pair when I'm doing editing. But the quality of construction is getting so bad that it seems like about every three to six months I have to send for another pair. I remember the first set of headphones I owned. They were brushed carbon, the type Walter Cronkite made famous during the early days of television. The quality of these pairs were about the same as two soup cans tied together with a string. You can hear what's going on while at the same time wreck your hearing if used often. This pair of headphones are recording studio quality and currently run about $150. They are the Pro 4S Studio headphones. A point to consider, these are not what my headphones are, which are the Pro DJ 200. I guess they don't make them anymore. The Headset that I have is now sitting on a Bluetooth configuration. It looks like Koss has cheapened their headphones again. This is another company that fails to understand the importance of branding. I've stopped trusting Koss years ago, but only stayed with them because of the warranty. They have taken the extra step that if I want headphones, I need to look elsewhere, and I have. I feel like they are behaving like the auto industry did back in the 1960s. They stopped putting quality into their cars so Americans bought Japan. The other professional grade headphones are built like a tank and run for about $100 and are holding up very well. It's the Koss Pro 44AA. The problem is not in the quality of the sound but they fit like a vice on my head and uses the stereo quarter-inch photo jack. They are handy for the equipment that still uses the bigger-sized plugs. Let me tell you about a couple of headphones that are pretty good and won't break the bank. Ever since moving to the country, I've been using a pair of earbuds. They were blue, and you can see me wearing them in past videos. The first pair lasted a year and a half. The second pair lasted a week. The third pair lasted six months. Between the earbuds and my everyday headphones, it seems like I need backup so that I have what I want or need. I've had enough. I looked on the internet and ran across a place called J-Labs out in California. I first sent for a pair of earbuds for about $40. After about a week, the battery would not hold a charge. I asked them if they were using customers for quality control and they said no. They claimed a failure rate of about 1.2%. The second pair has held up and no problems with the battery. 
Then I ordered from J-Lab a pair of over-the-ear wired headphones. They just came in a couple of days ago. In the meantime, I've been using my recording studio headphones because it has the mini stereo plug. I opened the box, brought up a music bed, and listened to it with Pro DJ 200 headphones. Then I plugged in the J-Lab wired headphones and listened to the same piece of music. These are my opinions only. I'm not getting any compensation or anything free from J-Lab. When this video is up, I will send them a link to it. First, let's start with the earbuds. I use it to listen to books. I very seldom listen to music anymore. The earbuds come with very sized plugs to fit the ear canal. The audio quality is not for critical music listening. No problems at all with the spoken word. It sounds the same as when I put the audio up on my big speakers. What I really like about the buds is that they are noise canceling and can be turned on and off with two different levels of noise cancellation. Can I tell the difference with the noise cancellation turned on? No. Let me explain. I can't tell that it's on, but I can hear the audio. In other words, I don't hear any artifact in the audio. If it's turned on all the way and there is no noise for canceling, I do hear a bit of artifact, something like a lower quality MP3. It's a bit essy, but I can live with it. The Bluetooth has a good range even through walls. Battery life is about 25 hours, 16 hours if you're running the sound cancellation. It charges at about 10 minutes for an hour of playtime. In about two and a half hours, it's completely charged. I haven't timed it, but that's what it appears to be. You should not expect to use these buds in a recording studio. I got them for $40 on sale, with the regular price being $79. But I have no problems listening to books for up to five hours. They fit comfortably. The other brand that I had given up on have to be filed because there were rough areas from the molding process that bit the ear. It's not the case here with the J-Labs. The fit is comfortable and actually fits much better than the old buds. These buds don't fall out as often. That is one reason why I got a pair that is wired between the two earpieces. If one falls out, I still have it on the other ear and can reinsert the earbud. If they were independent, I would have trouble finding it. I put the wire behind my neck so it's not in the way. What I wanted from a wired pair of headphones from J-Lab is not something for critical listening. I wanted something that was durable, comfortable to wear, and the audio won't tire me out. Believe it or not, if you plug these phones into your cell, you can answer phone calls and talk through the headphones. I can even change tracks, which is unusual for many wired phones. It has a tangle-free cord, which I like. Let me say that the standard for the cord is to be attached on the left speaker. This way, by just looking where the cord is, you can tell which is the left and which is the right speaker. JLab has done this backwards by putting the cord on the right side of the headphones. The reason why the cord was attached on the left side traditionally is that it was considered where the mono signal was coming from and when stereo came along, an additional channel was added which will be the right channel. This will probably mess me up quite a bit. For over 60 years I've had the cord on the left side, if it was not split such as when using carbon headsets. Let's get to the most important part. How do they sound? I compared these $30 headphones to a set of headphones designed for studio work, the Pro DJ 200, which were replaced with the Pro 4S for some reason. Is it a fair comparison? Yes and no. It tells me where the weaknesses are in the J Labs. It's unfair to think they will compete with the Pro DJ 200s. The Koss headphones have a flat sound over the frequency range. The J-Labs do not. I guess the easiest way of describing them is that they remind me of Bose speakers. That is a little heavier in the bass, but a tighter bass. Bose speakers have a muddy bass sound that many like. 
It sounds like there's a bit of boost from about 2,000 to 5,000 cycles. It's okay, but I wish they hadn't done it. I can understand the boosting of the bass like Bose speakers because that is what most people think is good audio. It would have been nice to have a switch to turn off this higher frequency boost, but it's livable. It costs extra to put in this high frequency boost, where I think most would rather not have it. The high end is good enough without it. If you do want something like this, then just adjust the tonal control of your player. Just don't have the rest of us have to deal with something that's obnoxious. With everything I've said, I would recommend them for comfort and how they don't tire you out with the audio. It's like a Bose Wave music system worth every bit of $100, but selling for about $550. You know, those freestanding Bose radios made out of plastic? They can be listened to all day without wearing you out, but for sound accuracy, not even close. This is how I see these headphones from JLab. You could wear them all day, and they appear to be rugged enough to last for about five years which is the expectation from JLab. If you don't abuse them, I would agree. I would see no problem for someone doing podcasts or even someone on the radio using these phones. The phone should be able to be folded up, but I can't seem to do it. That doesn't matter to me because I carry the phones by the band or hang them up by the band. You may want them to fold up. Just keep this in mind. The hinges can stick. Again, JLab isn't paying me or even know that I'm doing this review on two of their products. For the price, I can't complain. Just remember, even though they are easy to listen to, the audio is not accurate. But as I told them when I talked to them about their earbuds and phones, I wanted something that is easy to listen to. I've got other headphones if I want accuracy. I'll leave the JLab's link in the comments. <laughs> Before you go, if you have subscribed, thank you. If you've only dropped by for a visit, thank you also. I have mentioned before that I'm surprised at how humbling these subscriptions are to me. So when I say thank you, I mean it most sincerely. At the time of this recording, almost 40,000 people have watched one of these videos. Maybe this will give a bit of insight on how humbling it is to me. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well. Be safe. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road Speaking.